Hey guys, uh, my name is Sebastian. Uh, I live in Pol Warsaw, Poland. Uh, I work as a user experience designer. Uh, in this tutorial video, I want to show you how to um, implement a tab layout menu to your Android app. Let's do it. Okay, first, we, what we need to do is create a new project. Let's start with empty activity. Uh, let's call it uh, tab layout. Uh, app uh, other things as default okay the first thing uh, what we need to do is to we need to go to the build gradle module app and we need to implement the android design library uh, to our app so let's just copy this pass this and we're gonna submit the design here with the app compact. Let's sync it now. Alright. It seems okay. Let's go to the layout directory, activity main. And we're gonna first we're gonna change this concept layout to linear layout. Then we're gonna delete this uh, default text view and we need two things to our uh, tab layout menu. We need the uh, Android widget uh, tab layout. And we're gonna match, match parent and we're gonna give it uh, 48dp. And we're gonna close it. Uh, we're gonna also need uh, text color of the our um, um, and the, for the words in the top layout mini and it's gonna be uh, let's do something crazy here let's change it to uh, maybe some red over here all right uh, we want uh, our app to be um, scrayable so when we're gonna um, select scrayable from this um, uh, possibility uh, we also need the view pager. View pager is another uh, fundamental thing for our tab layout uh, menu because uh, it helps uh, the Android app to show everything in this why one view view pager is going to implement in the activity main. Uh, so we're going to need uh, match parent. Here we're going to give match parent. Uh, the all two need uh, IDs. We're gonna, let's say there's going to be a sliding tabs. And over here we're going to give him a, uh, maybe something easy. View pager. View pager. Uh, it's supposed to be okay. Okay, we're gonna create also the free screens. I want my app to have free screens, which I can uh, I can change the um, in the menu. So I'm gonna create the first one, screen one. I'm gonna do screen three, and I'm gonna do screen two. Okay, all set up. And now we go to the Java direction. Uh, first, we need to, we, we're gonna create three Java classes for each of the XML files. So we're gonna make screen one, screen two, and of course screen three. And we're gonna need our uh, adapter for our uh, view pager, so we're gonna make uh, my my fragment page adapter. Uh, all right. So first of all, we're gonna take uh, take care of the my fragment page adapter. We're gonna um, extend it. From uh, fragment page adapter, fragment page adapter. Okay. Uh, then we need to declare context, private context, uh, context. It's gonna be useful to declare where our app is supposed to search for the um, uh, data. 
Uh, then we create the public my fragment page adapter method. Uh, we're gonna create context context right here. Fragment uh, manager and we're gonna uh, make the easy name for it fragment manager. Uh, we're gonna go the super super. Uh, parameter super fm this context context uh, okay it's supposed to be fine fragment manager fm uh, giving this super name here I'm giving the um, super massy over uh, over everything in the app for the fragment manager um, Alright, we're gonna overwrite uh, public uh, fragment. Uh, for this uh, fragment manager, we need the three uh, three methods: get item, get count, and uh, some method to um, uh, download the names of the, the top layout menu names. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna get get item. Uh, we need to declare position, and this position will be as an integer. Uh, so, if uh, our position will be uh, default as zero, then we need to return uh, return new screen one because this one, uh, this screen will be the first screen that the uh, user will see, being after launching the app. Uh, other possibility is that we can create position uh, position uh, one that means that we want to return a new screen to and the last uh, possibility is of course else uh, return uh, new screen free uh, all right so we need uh, we need for, for this uh, override uh, another method public uh, integer get count. Uh, let's do it like this, and we need to let know Java how many uh, how many tabs are are in the tabs layout. So just easy return three uh, one two three. Uh, and another thing we can we need to do is to make Java know how to name the stop layout menus. So sequence uh, get page title uh, and position. And here we're gonna do. I can copy this from. To make it easier, if position and if position will be at the point zero, then we need to return context and get string, uh, and this string will be string, and this is a good point to actually make the strings. So we go here. We're gonna copy this. Uh, we're gonna name it. Uh, we're gonna name it. Name uh, screen to name screen free name something easy screen one screen two and of course screen three. Let's go back to our main fragment pitch adapter. Uh, now we can actually find the uh, strings. It's going to be second, and also, of course, going to be a three. Okay, uh, we need to now we have an information that app is support need to have a fragment in each of the screen one and screen two and screen three. 
uh, Java classes. So let's do it. So uh, Java wanted uh, Android Studio wanted us to have the fragment um, option in the in the Java class. So we're gonna do it. Fragment. There he goes. Uh, override. Uh, we're gonna create public view because we want the view pager to view this concrete view and create uh, view. We're gonna use the layout inflator. It's really fun to use. Uh, inflator. Uh, we're gonna create view group. We're gonna call it container uh, and we're gonna make a bundle saved instance. State. So we need to make a view view. We want to inflate uh, in, uh, this view with our inflator. We're going to find our layout which we prepared earlier, as we remember, screen one, uh, container, false, as the save instance test says. The last thing, return view just to return something in the method. Uh, I'm gonna repeat it in other two. Yes, I want this two. Mm -hmm. And of course this one. And this is gonna be two. Alright. Uh, the information uh, fragment manager FM. Okay, fragment page or not? And now it makes sense. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is we need to main make a main activity. Uh, so we're gonna use the, the things are already here by default. We're just gonna show Java that we want the view pager and top layout menu in our in our app. View pager, view pager. Uh, it's gonna be a view pager. And here find view by ID and ID. That was view pager as we remember we declared earlier. Uh, I'm gonna make a view pager, uh, set adapter, and we're gonna use this my new my fragment page adapter. This context we are interested, and we're gonna get support fragment manager that we declare uh, in my my fragment page adapter. Uh, last thing we need to do is we need to find the tab layout. It's uh, don't forget mistakenly to take the table layout. This is tab layout. Uh, tap layout, uh, something easy. Uh, yes, we're gonna find view by ID, uh, ID, sliding tabs, table layout, uh, setup with view pager, and we're gonna use this view pager that we have before. Uh, okay, I'm gonna find my smartphone. I can connect it to my device. Uh, okay, so I need to just try to run it. We have a screen one, screen two. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, I hope you learned something today. Uh, hope to see you soon in my next videos. Uh, this project will be uploaded uh, to the GitHub. The uh, link to download it is in the uh, below the video. Uh, thanks. Goodbye.